In the Gospel of John, you'll very often see a reference to a mysterious character. He's referred to as the Beloved Disciple. And I call him mysterious because there's some debate about who he is. And one theory is that the Beloved Disciple is Saint John himself, so the one who wrote the Gospel of John. Now, whether it's Saint John, the Gospel writer, or another John, or one of Jesus' other disciples, many scholars agree that the term, the beloved disciple, is a code word for the model disciple, or a disciple worth imitating and patterning your life after. So here's a fun exercise. As you go through the Gospel of John, maybe go through it page by page, notice where there's a reference to the beloved disciple, because there's many references to him. There's many places in which the beloved disciple appears. And when you find it, notice what the beloved disciple either says or does, because whatever he says or does is something we also should say or do, since he's the model disciple. So in today's gospel, this mysterious figure makes an appearance, and this is what the scriptures say about him. It says, Peter turned and saw the disciple who Jesus loved, or saw the beloved disciple, the one who had rested his head upon the chest of Jesus during the supper. Okay, so the beloved disciple in this gospel is referred to as the one who reclined next to Jesus and rested his head upon the beating heart of Jesus. So notice what the, the beloved disciple does. He lays his head upon the sacred heart of Jesus. That's a powerful image. It's obviously not one that we can exactly imitate nowadays, but many saints have used this image of resting one's head on the beating heart of Jesus as an image of deep prayer, deep contemplative prayer. So the next time you go to pray, perhaps spend a few moments just canceling out all the stresses and worries of your day and just focus on imitating the beloved disciple who rested his head on the sacred heart of Jesus.